What is better than a Palmetto State Armory Dagger? Well, two Palmetto State Armory Daggers. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Desert Tactical. This is D. So if you follow my channel, you know that a while back I put together my first dagger. Uh, I got the black frame with the FDE slide and not too long ago I got the FDE frame with the black slide. However, I am running them in this configuration as you see now. So yes, I have two daggers. Why? Because why not? These are very inexpensive, fun guns to shoot. So let's go over the setups and uh, let's look at them individually and see how they shoot. Okay guys, let's kick it off with my black dagger for you to police. Let's make sure that this weapon is clear. So no magazine and nothing in the chamber. We are good to go. So from top to bottom, what I have is the Hollow Sun 407A3. I have a Combat Armory threaded barrel, HB Industries Micro Comp, TLR 1HL weapon light, and everything else is factory from PSA. Now this is a very fun shooting smooth gun. However, I want to point out that this frame did go back to PSA at one point because it was dropping uh, loaded magazines. What it was, it was the uh, locking block that was out of spec. So they sent it back in and uh, after the replacement, it was working fine. Before the replacement, I was running Glock OEM magazines with no issues, but it wasn't working with uh, KCI, PMAGs, and uh, with ETS. But after the replacement, it's been fine. No issues whatsoever. Um, very fun shooting gun. I like it a lot. The trigger, you know, as we all know, it's not the best, but definitely workable. Let's move on to my FDE dagger. This is my FDE dagger. Once again, let's make sure that the weapon is clear. So no magazine, nothing in the chamber. We are good to go. Again, from top to bottom, this is the Holosun 407C2, combat armory threaded barrel, Griffin armament micro carry comp, again, TLR 1HL weapon light, everything else factory from PSA. This FDE dagger has been very reliable, very smooth, very nice shooting gun. Like it a lot. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. I like how the FDE matches perfectly with the frame to slide. Like it a lot, you guys. All right, guys, we got both daggers next to each other for comparison. Very similar setups, almost exactly alike, except for the differences in these two optics. This is a 407A3. This is a 407C2. I got a video coming up on those later. And of course, the Griffin Armament Micro Carry Comp and the HP Industries Micro Comp, which are different as well. Everything else is exactly the same and everything is factory from PSA internally. Um, I do want to mention that these are awesome daggers. Very fun to shoot, as I've been saying. Uh, the grip is phenomenal. I love how comfortable this grip is. And the triggers, as I always tell everybody else, they're not the best, but not the worst either. Definitely workable. I do want to mention that even though this dagger has seen almost a thousand rounds, the trigger on the FDE frame is a lot more crisper. Why? I don't know, but this trigger is a lot more crisper than this one. This one's a little bit, a tad bit more spongier than this one. Regardless, they're very fun guns to shoot you guys. I highly recommend you pick one up. Very inexpensive. Nice, nice guns. Alrighty guys, wrapping it up on my PSA dagger talk video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. Those comments and those likes really help the channel out. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I would really appreciate that as well. So stay tuned for a very big announcement I have coming up on the channel. Something fun, something big. I think you guys are going to like it. That is it for now, you guys. Please stay safe out there. Catch you guys later. Peace.